Hello everyone. This is the Bedroom DLC from Resident Evil 7's Band Footage Collection. Band Footage Volume 1. So it's been a long time coming recording this. Uh, I actually recorded this uh, two years ago, back when I actually had a pretty decent office set up to keep my PSVR set up. Clancy wakes to the musty stink of unwashed linen. Where the hell is this? Why is he in bed? It takes a moment for the truth to... It takes a moment for the truth to hit. It wasn't just a nightmare. Yeah, no, it's like half this text is like not legible <laughs> while you're trying to play the DLC. Don't jump up and down just yet. You want to be part of this family, you got to eat like family. Mmm, that smells good, don't it? You eat all this and you can be one of us. Then I'll take those things off and you can go out and play. But you got to eat all of it. Wow. This, this looks delicious. Really, it, it looks great. Oh, good. I'll be back in a little bit to check on you. Wait, is there anything else to eat? You don't need nothing else. Now eat your goddamn supper. So I like to call bedroom Marguerite Baker Dating Simulator 2017. And uh, it's basically something. it's basically an escape room. But uh, we gotta be we gotta be very careful to make sure that uh, everything is back the way it was if we hear Marguerite coming back to the room. That's the twist. So down there there's a there's a dead rat which is actually part of the achievements in this game and the, they were gonna break this uh, break this needle off of this clock over here and take untitled painting B we're gonna take C we're gonna put C right there and we gotta remember where we put things previously otherwise uh, we will take damage when Marguerite comes back into the room. We'll get punished. Of course, we take this. Marguerite's on her way back now. Now I got the sewing needle. And we're gonna take painting A, painting B, and painting C, and then we're gonna put painting C back. Can't let her see I've been out of bed. Then we're going to put uh, painting A, no, painting B over here. What the hell is all that and then we have to set the clock to uh, four, no, five, eight, five. And then examine it again to put the bed back. Then we're gonna examine that to get the lighter. And uh, then we're gonna put the uh, then we're gonna put the the lantern back and crawl back into bed and lock ourselves back up. Ain't nothing happened here, Marguerite. Nope. Don't 
they just smell like heaven. I made it especially for you. Huh? Has someone been in here? Oh, something ain't right. Hmm. Well, everything seems in order. I figured you still hadn't eaten yet, so I brought something else for you. Who the fuck are these people? Oh god, I love home cooking. So in order to get the uh in order to get the other dead rat, we actually have to eat what Marguerite just fed us. Because I recorded this like two years ago, I don't remember if I did that or not, but the other dead rat is indeed in there. And uh, because we're not really making any noise right now. Actually, yeah, it's, it seems that I did. Because I wanted to have this walkthrough be as complete as possible. Clancy, you dummy. There's the dead rat. We have to find all the dead rats for the achievement. It's like, what, three dead rats, I think? The solution to this is snake, uh, leaf, apple. In order to open this door over here. And then we gotta get ourselves a knife over here. There's uh, dead rat number three. And we're going to use the fork to pry this off here next. So we can open this and get the uh, get the solid fuel which we need in order to get the corkscrew for the next uh, for the next puzzle coming up. We're going to take the portable stove and the solid fuel. Put that there, and uh, yes, yes, that is that is indeed a dead rat, Carsey. You 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 got it. Clancy just won't take the bottle opener unless he does something about the spiders. Doesn't help that uh, doesn't help that the fire causes the uh, causes the bottle, the lower bottle, to explode. Put the, uh, put the painting there. Oh, I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, I did. I didn't put the, uh, didn't put the lantern back. Now we put the lantern back. Then we get back into bed. I'm not enjoying this, dang it! Just a minute. Hmm. Well, everything seems in order. Ugh. Why are you so stubborn? You better eat or I'm gonna shove it down your throat! I think now that we got the, uh, I think now that we got the wine opener, I think now that we got the wine opener, we're, uh, pretty much set. We don't gotta worry about Marguerite for the rest of this playthrough. But, uh, once we do this, then this is the point of no return. Because we won't be able to hang the lantern back up. We also got to make sure that we got the knife. 
We're gonna cut this open while the uh, while the corkscrew is doing its job. Put the lantern in. We're gonna take the lantern hook. We're gonna take this fork, and uh, that fork is gonna be our uh, that fork is gonna be our serpent head. And then we're going to take the uh, combined lantern hooks over here, and use those, and line it up exactly right to get the serpent key, which we need in order to leave the bedroom. Now we got to make sure that we have our knife equipped and grab the snake key. Just to grab us, and Clancy will stab her in the throat. Now we have like 20 seconds to leave the room. Let's see into that. Hope this helps.